One last bit of evidence here, and I think this is really troubling that needs to be investigated, which might even make you think you should just throw the neuroleptics out. And this was a study by uh, Gurr at the University of Pennsylvania in which they, they followed people, and I, I forget the exact study design, but what they did is they observed people with MRIs, newly diagnosed patients over an 18-month period, and what they were able to chart with the MRIs was an enlargement of the basal ganglia over that period associated with drug use. They, they, they took that change mm -hmm. in the enlargement caused by the drugs. And as that enlargement occurred, they found a worsening of both um, positive and negative symptoms. So you saw in a study, an imaging study, drug causes change in the brain that is caused associated both with chronicity and a worsening of symptoms. So that needs further investigation at the very least. You know, it was really interesting, her line of thinking, if you read her paper. So she shows it's associated with a worsening of symptoms, target symptoms. And she says, this may, this may lessen the benefit from the drug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once you go, that's not you just found, there's no benefit. <laughs> well, that makes it worse. The symptoms are getting worse, but... This may make us think about the... <laughs> what are you talking about? You know, if you guys look from where I'm sitting, literally, you're talking, and how you say these things, and you're laughing about these yeah. absurdities that are produced by the brightest brains in America, so to speak. For you. It's right, really we're laughing because it seems so absurd. It's not just that. It's not just absurd. It's This is a huge phenomenon. This is not just a small group of people called schizophrenics who are teeny bitty bitty people. It's all over the world. This is all over. Many generations, um, uh, it's, it's, makes me cry. Right, if, if, even if, though if I don't even think me. If, if we were talking about the Holocaust and the ovens that were being created, we probably wouldn't be well, laughing. I don't know. Well, that's a horrible analogy, but you, it's you, pretty damn bad. But we're talking about numbers that approach those kinds of numbers. No, you're talking about a lot of lives lost. Over the time since, you know, let, let's don't talk about all the other right. shit that's going on, since no, the, the severe neuroleptic hey, How else? many people are we talking about? It, it, it's just a one little example, which yeah. you're absolutely right. I had a good friend in, in, in high school, very smart guy, lovely human being. He had, you know, he did some drugs in college, etc. And then he had two friends die in a, a car crash just as he graduated from college, a time when, you know, you're sort of emotionally strung out anyway. So he has some sort of psychotic break. He was put on neuroleptics, spent the next 20 years of his life on neuroleptics, became ever, you know, ever fatter, ever less of a human being, and then finally just died from the drugs. So that's just one of many millions. But what happens if he's not treated in that initial time with, with, with drugs? He might have a totally different life. But so I, I know that's the... So what I'm saying is you're absolutely right. The, the human loss is huge. It's Just statistically, since the inception of the use of the neuroleptic, the chlorpromazine, what is the guess of how many people worldwide have... And you can separate out into aphasia, you can separate into brain lesions, you can separate out to worsening of symptoms where you... Don't go your ass the elbow. All those variables that are effects from having been on the neuroleptics in the social sphere, in the spiritual, in the physical, neurological, familial, economic. How many people good are you question. talking about? Good question. Can you, can you do an estimate? I know thousands how many, how many lives have been lost and how many lives have been made not worth or barely worth living from these well, effects? Right? Yeah, yeah. Has anybody done that? No, no one's ever tried to uh, calculate It's got to be over 20 million, I would think, wouldn't you say? Worldwide? Well, the, the annual business is something like zero point, and how many people are, are there on Earth? I don't know. Who are, between, who are between 18 and 50? You, know, I, you could do the, the arithmetic, but it's a lot of people. Right. That's about 60 million people. It, the difference is between incidence and prevalence. Yeah. So prevalence is the percentage of people 
in the population who throughout their lives will come down with a diagnosis of schizophrenia. And that's like 1%. Incidence is generally defined as how many people in any given year get it. Get it. So you talk, so it's, one, it's about 1%? Lifetime prevalence is around, said to be around 1%. So 1% of 6 billion, just to say, how many people are alive today? Okay, 1% of 6 billion is 60 million. 60 million, and 60 million, about half of them won't come into, even though in third world countries it's increasing, or half of them won't see these treatments. Yeah, but the other opposite of that is the neuroleptics have never been used just for those diagnoses. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. all kinds of diagnoses. Listen, it, uh, so it's a staggering number. It's a staggering. It's, a staggering. it's like it's like worse than Stalin's war crimes or something like that. It's like it's like the death toll from World War II. I mean, the diminishment of life is huge. And then it's not just that maybe people will die, or something, but how do you quantify the quality of life? And I've been thinking about that for years myself. What kind of life could I have? Had? Right. Okay. But I know people like Jack. I know people, people who have names, numbers, and you know, I know them as people. Right. And I seen them when they were like 15, 20. Right. And then 10 years later, the, uh, I could name the kinds of things that would bother your mind about what happened to them. It's like, it's like Bob's story with his friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bob, no. Who is going to my life my these qualities that Oh, like, you know, here's your level quality of life, and it goes, Whoa. No, no, you're absolutely right. I mean, as you know, and everyone knows, that's what's when you, the term diminished. You, you know, you're talking about huge diminishment, suffering. You become a shadow, a ghost of a human being. Right, and, and that in itself um, speaks to what we need to do. Yeah, yeah, you mean the scope of the problem.